you in a bomb shelter? What are you doing? Why are you in a shelter? We're putting out fires! Mister, are you a sailor? A pilot. A pilot? Then why aren't you flying? Did you lose your plane? Ginger complains that the Muscovite didn't let him sleep. Turned out to be a chatterbox. Talked about his civil life, of how he traveled to China with his dad as a child. I too couldn't sleep before my first battle. I was kind of calm, but shaking in my boots. Well, our Muscovite is from the intellectuals. His old man is apparently from the diplomatic field. didn't make sure it was tight enough. <laughs> Sergey, where do you get all these jokes? I've been telling him for a while that he should start performing on stage. What's so funny? Hello, sir. Hi, Kolya. Comrade Commander, Muscovite was given those boots while at the training camp. After he put them on, he found they were two sizes bigger. His feet are too small for them. They're a bloody mess. We found the smallest boots we could. Hello, sir. Comrade Captain, permission to speak. Go ahead. I was told that if a crew member doesn't return from battle, anyone can take their personal belongings. It's true. May I have permission to run to the tent real quick? Say, permit me to. He's worried about his father's razor. It's imported. You won't need a razor in the afterlife. I just don't want someone else to use it, Comrade Captain. Please permit me. I'll take off the boots and be right back. Come line up. Coming. You won't make it to the tent. The commander is here. Dress right. Now front. yesterday. Do you have a girlfriend? Commander. Say what? Quiet, quiet, quiet. At 194. I see the convoy. Nine units. We'll engage from a height of 50. Speed 250. Got it. Heading towards course 194. Drop to 50. Speed 250. Group to battle formation. Confirming. I see it. 
The third one with a hump. It's a go. Come on, tie yourself down. Do you copy? What happened? Report. The pipeline is broken. The left engine is dead. Can you make it? I think we will. We're going home. Good job, brothers. <laughs>
Hello, Comrade Commander. Commander of the 1st Mine Torpedo Regiment, Colonel Priyo Brzezinski. Nice to meet you. Let's get going. Headquarters. The German propaganda. Comrade officers has formally declared to the world the complete annihilation of our Air Force. There were other false statements as well, as the airstrikes on Moscow that began a week ago have forced me to bring up the issue of a retaliatory strike on the forces of the Baltic Fleet by use of aircraft carrying mines and torpedoes. Admiral Konetsov has reported my suggestion to the Supreme Commander. Yesterday, we received a positive response. Congratulations. This difficult task was entrusted to your regiment. Comrade Commander, what are the planned targets for a retaliatory strike? Sugar, Comrade General. We're going to bomb Berlin, and soon. I don't see the joy on your faces. It's so far to Berlin that even with additional fuel tanks. Look here. This is Surema Island. The Kahul Airfield, where the 12th Cover Squadron is now based, is situated right here. We transfer 20 fighter bombers here from our base at Bezabotnoy, only using the most experienced crews. Tallinn will provide us with provisions. We'll deliver ammunition here from Kronstadt on minesweepers, then fly out. Then we go over the sea through Godland to the German coastline, then to Stettin, and turn to Berlin. The total length of the route is 1,760 kilometers. What do you say? It's complicated. Do you have any ideas who can lead the group? I will lead. Ah, that's great. And who will you lead the regiment to? to the commander! Congratulations to the crew on mission completion. So how did the bombing go? Hit the bullseye. Valentinovich, do you happen to have any alcohol? My buddy has half a barrel. If you ask nicely, he'll fill you a jar. Okay, Jeremy's. why don't you go and get some sleep? And don't wander around the airfield. Yes, sir. Okay. That's an order. Okay. You get the booze for me? I'll Lieutenant ask Lieutenant Jeremy's! Why'd you have to say that? What do you want? Galia is leaving. She's transferred to a hospital in Leningrad. She's leaving. I understand. Is it? She's waiting for you there. Her car is leaving at 7. You'll likely never see her again. A pity. But what can we do? It's war. She knew you wouldn't come. She said he's not like that. And I said that you will come if you're not a bastard. So should she wait for you? So she's leaving forever, huh? You finally get it. Are you the one to replace her? See you in the evening. You really are a bastard. Come on, guys, let's go. Ginger! Give me a sec. Come on, let's go. Yeah. Comrade Captain, where's the razor? Bring it. Here you go.
It's a tough flight at an extreme altitude. You must choose the smartest guys and the healthiest, of course. You get the machines ready. We have very little time. Rio Brzezinski! Yes, Comrade General, sir. You will lead the group. And you will leave the regiment to Filatov. And not a word to anyone about Berlin. I will give you the preparation details later. Sir. To date, unfortunately, I do not see any improvement. I'm healthy! I'm healthy, I'm telling you! Hello, comrade. How is he? Good afternoon, Commander. Tomorrow we need a list of flight personnel without health restrictions. No one has restrictions at the moment. And if the flight is at an altitude of more than 6,000 meters, are you sure that everyone can handle it? Is it a long flight? Very. Just one shooter. We dropped the straps. We're sending them in groups. What kind of a special operation is it? When it is, then. At ease. You see this group? Tomorrow's their last class. Then they graduate. So choose one. He'll take one of them. And you, make sure headquarters knows who he picked. Where's Mirashov? Didn't give him one. <laughs> Come with me. Uh, good luck, guys. Ootavad täiendust. Lubavad maksta. 
Sökla juhata ja küsis, kas meil on tõlki. Kas soovi teed minna tõlgiks siin? Sulle makstakse samuti. Tegelikult lubasid, et sõidame selle näedel alt Tallinna. Uue tõpikult maaletate. Mäletan, jah. Samuti lubasid, et sa ävelesed tagastavad kuule uune, et meil ei esimeseks augustiks. Mida mina teha saan? Sõda. Emma. Jah, sain juba kõigest aru. Ma ei saanud aru. Kas sa oled nõus või mitte? Ma mõtlen järgi. them not making the runway longer. Get ready for a landing. It's dangerous, Nikolaevich! There's a bulldozer at the edge of the runway. Yeah, I see it. Hello, camera colonel, sir. Who's in charge of construction? The chief engineer is in there. What's going on here? Bulldozer was pulled onto the runway. People are sleeping. We're on a deadline. Why aren't you making the runway longer? The weather's too goddamn hot. It's over 90 degrees in the shade. We're working really hard. I feel... What? Listen, the work must be finished by tomorrow evening. And one more excuse out of you and you'll be digging your own grave out there. How old are you? 19. And you? Sonia, when will you return the ink? Don't worry, Ginger. Did the commander say anything about the shooters he had before you? No, he won't talk to me at all. And he won't even allow any questions. Yeah, our commander is not a talkative guy. And what can you tell me about the shooters? You said there were shooters before me. What about them? Of course there were. They got killed. Am I right? Oh, look, here's our plane. Ginger! Did you remove the oxygen tanks from the mount? I did, comrade captain. And who's putting them back in? Me? Our navigator, Kachinov Mikhail. Come on, get in. Uh huh. and wash everything thoroughly got it yes i got him hello 
gentlemen. Hello, Grigory Zakharovich. How was your flight? Ah, it's a bloody mess. They still haven't lengthened the runway. Gave him a scolding two days left. They still haven't touched it. Comrade Colonel, Lieutenant General Zavaronkov is on the line. Call is transferred. Okay, Commissar. Line them up. Tell them about the operation. Let them do the preparations. Fifteen crews we mentioned. Aye, right, sir. I'm listening. Trio Przensky. Yes, Comrade Commander. Get in line! And if they don't finish the job? Not an option, comrade. Dress right. Attention! Alignment to the middle. Comrade Commissar of the regiment, the air group is lined up on your orders. Squadron Commander Baranov. At ease. At ease. Comrades of the Red Navy, from this moment on, your crews are removed from work. It means there be no departures until further notice. Relax. Sleep, write letters home, and most important, prepare the planes for the long distance flying. We will fly to the full range capacity of the aircrafts. The departures mostly will occur at night. Peter Ilyich? Tomorrow at 8.30, I'm expecting all the navigators. Is that clear? That's all. Dismissed. Dismissed. Murashov! Murashov, looks like your military baptism post is not flying anywhere. I'd be happy if I were you. Brissikov, shut your mouth. What did I say? Nothing, I think. Comrade Captain! I know everything. You told me your shooters don't live long. That's a cursed position. But don't you worry about me, okay? I said, uh, don't worry. I won't die. I'm lucky. Why would I worry? I don't even care about you. Attention! Comrade Lieutenant General, second rank military engineer Tarpakov. At ease. At ease. Report. Move it, move it, move it, move it. The task is almost completed. The landing strip of the airfield and the personnel accommodation areas are ready to fulfill the mission. What about camouflage? We organized parking spots near trees and prepared camouflage nets. Warehouses and weapons? On the left side of the parking space, there's a semi-earth type shelter. Electricity was brought there. A backup engine was installed. There's also barrels of fuel there. This is really bad. If the Germans accidentally miss, everything can explode to hell. Store the fuel and lubricant separately. And when the bombs are delivered, place them in different shelters. As you order, sir. Now show me the rooms. Ten men sleep in each room. And what's that? Well, desks. They were supposed to be thrown out. Pity they'll dry out. We built three additional toilets, a washroom for 15 wash basins. We're certainly ready to build more if needed. Everything is ready, Comrade General. And this is your private room, sir. So give me 10 minutes. Go get my things. Yes, sir.
Nothing to be afraid of. We're just flying to another airport. You're not really in the sauna quite yet. We're only approaching the entrance. You're only taking off your pants in the dressing room. Generally speaking, though, it's strange, isn't it? Four young men are put in an iron box. Put in the sky to drop bombs. I never thought I would ever be doing this. Translator here? Yeah. And your name? Emma. We need people. On vaya kolm inimest jurvilja puastama. To peel vegetables. Oh, come on. So, two young ladies for the water. Palo kakte tudruku vetoma. You and you. What are your name? Marta. Trofima! What's with all the sitting around? Two for firewood. Ja veel kakte kutte pude jaus. It's beautiful here. Uh huh. We've been waiting two days for minesweepers from Kronstadt, and the clock is ticking. If by tomorrow they don't show up, I'll report to the People's Commissar. Why'd you take the accordion? Well, it's sort of a talisman. I wish I could take a swim. Mita? A ladle. Yeah. Oh, thanks. Strange people, those Estonians. They're so calm, quiet. I want to say an extra word. <laughs> I have never been anywhere except Ukraine. I have a grandmother from there, from Kiev. No, I'm from Como, Belarus. My grandfather and father moved to the Urals. Where is the translator? Missasia. Asia, Asia. Rua Upatea. Hey, did you get a look at that girl? I can see her. Hey, Emma, please translate this. Please explain to them that the drinking water is in that barrel, not this one, okay? You'll give us your own self pagis. Can I help you with anything else? You're a teacher, right? Yes. Do you have an Estonian translation book I could use? One. Do you think you could lend it to me? Yeah, sure. No, thanks so much. Tulep, tulep. 
Jeremy's. I'm thinking about the departure. I think we need to review the route again. Ginger, you want some? Straight from the ice house. The old man doesn't speak our language. But he's clean and tidy. I told him I'm also from a village. We also keep a cow. And he was speaking his own language and nodding at the Krinka, as if saying, give it back. Well, I understand. But it's a valuable thing in the household. Ah. It's so cold, it even makes my teeth hurt. You'll keep watch and turns. Change every four hours. Got it? Mm. Comrade Captain, would you like some milk? <laughs> Comrade Captain, what's wrong? Go get the first aid kit. Okay. Ammonia! Hurry! You fell, Comrade Captain. What are you talking about? You fell. Quiet. You keep your mouth shut, too. Don't tell anyone. Understood? Understood? Understood. Not a soul. Yes, sir. So I saw a boat. Sit down, sit down. I thought it was a fisherman. Thank God the Estonian was brave enough to help me out of the water. And Zavarov is gone. He got a bullet right into his heart. What's with the weather? In the Stetson area and towards Berlin, the cloudiness is dense. Visibility is almost zero. Cyclone? Exactly. <clears throat> and it's going to stay like that for two days. If the minesweepers with bombs are late for at least another day, we'll refer to this damn cyclone at headquarters. <clears throat> damn, this operation is rupturing. It's rupturing at the seams. Let's go. Here, Commander. Encrypted message. Oh, finally. Comrade General. What? There's someone from Moscow, so arrogant. From Moscow? Uh... Where is he? On the runway, got motion sickness. Give me my hat. Yes, sir. I apologize. You're a long way from Moscow. I'm bad at flying. Here.
We expected you tomorrow. Don't you worry. You have full authority to act. Uh, don't be afraid of control, or to put it another way, some help. Are you having issues with the ammunition delivery? The minesweepers have already left Kronstadt. That means we'll fly soon. What a big deal you have here. I can feel, so to say, the power. I'll be going, Comrade Verasov. Work is waiting. Of course. We can go. Semyon Fyodorovich. I'd appreciate a place to stay. Provide an accommodation. So, say the sea? It's not far from here, is it? That's right. Ten minutes by car. Let's go. Do you have a club in your village? Do you have a club in this village? We do. But it doesn't work at the moment. All the musicians are in the army. What a pity. <laughs> the girls are asking, why are you all so serious? None of you smiling. Comrade Sergeant Major. I'm here. Why the gathering after lights out? Back to the barracks. Go, go. Back to the barracks. Tell them to finish in five minutes. Lipotema, via minuti parest. Bye bye, girls. The international relations are over for today. Seems like I'm no longer needed. Laske, laske, las mina laulan. Laske, laske, las mina laulan. Erge, erge, magi senda. Erge, erge, magi senda. Okay, attention, everyone! Vasimi Tilefevich, you will send a message to the ground. I see some bombers. They're flying the bomber Ivanovskoye, the bastards. Height 3000, heading 175. Load the machine gun. We will be bombing this bastard, Ivan Timofevich. If you all heard my commands, then let's get rolling! Stay at your post. Aye, comrade, Captain, sir. I didn't... I didn't do it on purpose. It somehow... You see, it started up on its own. It won't happen again, comrade, Captain. And who are these guys, Ivan and Vasily? 
My uncles, my mother's brothers. We were all sent to the war together. They're in the infantry, and I'm here. Finally. May I see them? Here are the bombs. And you are all worried about them. Looks like we'll be flying soon. Mm -hmm. What are you doing with that? You're asking weird questions, comrade. We're fixing a malfunction. I want you to stop. Who's in charge? You? Okay, then, what kind of malfunction? Malfunctions happen all the time. Remember, these are old planes. The engines are worn out. Well? Speaking constructively, there's a lot of shortcomings. Such as? Well, for example, gas tank oil leaks, cracks, bad riveting. Wait a moment, slow down. The pneumatic system is failing. There are issues with the gills. The pistons are burned out, the blower can fail. At high altitudes, the navigator's cabin freezes over. Tail gunners don't have any protection at all. If you like, I can keep going, comrade. Start driving. this one first. Comrade General, can I get a few words with you? Okay, that's the last one. What's up? Um, will these planes even be able to make it to Berlin? In what sense? In the most direct sense. These engines are done, so to say. They could fail in mid-air. Evgeny Nikolaevich! This is Colonel Brio Brzezinski. He knows more about these planes than I do. Please, comfort Comrade Verisov, who's worried that the aircraft engines are severely worn out. It is true, Comrade, but the DB-3 is not the newest, nor the fastest plane. But given our challenges today, it's the only machine that can carry out such a difficult task. You understand, we have to hit hard. And what do you have? Are these bombs? Why are they so small? They're bombs. We're flying all this way, and that's what you plan to drop on Berlin? Fab 100. There's also Fab 250 and 500. But we're thinking of taking eight 100s to increase the hit radius. Eight 100s? 800? Is that right? Uh, one moment. Right here. One and a half tons. Each bomber is supposed to take one and a half tons of bombs. One and a half tons. You know who wrote it? Hokinaki. He's a recognized expert and knows all about these planes. The blow we inflict must be strong. And if I understand correctly, you just said that these planes can carry out the task, yeah? We have to carry additional fuel tanks, so we can't take one and a half tons of bombs. But Kokonaki thinks we will be. Who do you expect me to trust? An honored tester? A hero of the Soviet Union? I mean, we do have time. We're waiting for the weather, aren't we? For now, we wait. Mm -hmm. 
I have an idea. Since we're waiting, let's invite Kokonaki here. Please have some water. Ankivet. Oh. Ankivet. <laughs> Balon. And here comes your commander. Thank you. Let's go. Let's go. Konstantinovich. Sorry we didn't meet you. Didn't know you'd reach us so fast. The girls are so beautiful here. Sadly, they don't understand our language. On give it! <laughs> Let's go. It's Kokonaki. Kokonaki. Girls, you have seen Kokonaki. My saru. Kokonaki, understand? Kokonaki. Kokonaki. I use these machines to lift two and a half tons without any real problem. You're trembling like an aspen leaf because of some extra kilos. The DB3 is a great machine, quite reliable. Sure, it's a little out of date, but it's not a reason to downsize your bomb loads to a meager 800 kilos. The purpose of the airstrike is not just to scare, but to cause maximum damage to the important strategic objects within the city. Or am I wrong, comrade colonel? I beg your pardon, Kokonaki. But what kind of damage can we talk about if due to overload we do not reach the target at all? Why the hell are we theorizing about this? We have to test it. Load a ton and a half. We are coming. Attention! At ease. At ease. Why the gathering? It's so heavy, it'll be hard to pull the plane out. And who will? You? Maybe... With bombs in place and the tanks filled up, the total weight is over two tons. We have our doubts. The engines can't even handle it. Let's go. Left orders not to start without him. Stop! Stop, stop, stop! Listen to me! The commander said not to start without him. Where is he? Test flight. What? We are ready for the test flight. We're coming. Us. We'll find out. Comrade 
General, the plane is ready to take off. If Jenny, are you ready? Godspeed. Off we go! Navigator, the right engine's on fire. Don't you see? Everyone there wants the maximum load on each plane. How would they know about your worn-out engines? And what was Kokonaki supposed to do? Command called him in asking how much a plane could take. What could he say? He's lifted one of these before with one and a half tons. Kokonaki is very experienced when it comes to aviation. But we lost a plane and people almost died. Why these experiments? You don't know if you don't try. Uh, hello. Hello. Excuse me for a late visit. Oh, I, I, I saw that the light was on and I thought you weren't sleeping. My name is Andre. Martha and I met here, not today, of course. Yesterday, and, well, I, I talked to her. 
and she doesn't understand anything I've been saying to her. She pretends to understand everything, but only nods and smiles, and I'm telling her very important things. And I might be transferred tomorrow. Can you please translate what I'm going to say? Yes. Thank you much. Martha. Um, I have never known an Estonian girl before. You're my very first one. Ta ei ole kunagi ühtegi Eesti tudruku tunnud. And I didn't think that all Estonians were so beautiful and cheerful. Yes, and you, Martha, are very special. I only know you two days, but I lose sleep over you. That's it. Aga sina, Martha, oled eriline. Ta tunneb sindal eest eest päeva, kuidas sa enna magada. This is important. When the war is over, I will come back here for you and take you with me to Heberovsk. Only if she wants me to, of course. Ja nüüd kõigi tahtsam, Marta. Kui sida on labi, kunagi saab see kindlasti labi. Ja te lähete tema juurde Heberovskisse. Öelge talle, et tema meeldib mulle sammuti. She likes you too. Thanks so much. So. I should go. So go. There's a ton and a half. To the south of this parallel. Cloudiness is stratocumulus, three to 5,000 meters. Thank you. On the lower edge, 1,600 meters and up to 3,000 meters. Light rain, visibility four to five kilometers. Please continue. Soon it will start condensing and then escalates to become a cyclone. 
You can fly above 1,400 meters, but light icing is possible. The direction of the wind changes to the north. Can we bypass the cycle from the north? If it doesn't grow bigger. Thank you. Dismissed. Sir. But if it should grow, we won't have enough fuel to go around it. Yesterday's German raid called into question the secrecy of our operation. There'll be no further delay. Today, at 2100 hours, we're sending the crews to Berlin. of the Red Navy, congratulations. You were greatly honored to respond to the barbaric German bombardments of Moscow, Leningrad, and other cities of the motherland. Today, at 2100 hours, you will fly out to deliver the first bombing strike on military facilities and government institutions of the capital of the Nazi Reich. Let's show the German bastards how it's done. Today, we hit Berlin. Hurrah. Well, good luck. Hmm. Nikolai, when you finish the job, or if you see that it's over, radio it to us. Got it. Flight altitude, 7,000 meters. Take a turn over the city when I signal you with the lights. Triple button press, you return to Kahul on your own. Target distance, 950 kilometers. Fuel will be loaded to the brink. During the flight, we maintain complete radio silence. We do not use navigation lights or hand lamps. We possibly may lose each other in complete darkness. If it happens, proceed to the target on our own. Go, Nikolaevich. According to intelligence, Berlin is surrounded by two rings of air defense. First one is 160 kilometers from Berlin. Second one is scattered from 35 to 60 kilometers. Spotlights light up to 6,000 meters. And of course, there are fighters. So be ready for air combat. Flag navigator Kokolo, you have the floor. The navigators have maps, the equipment's been checked. Targets and routes are plotted, the liner is done. In case of loss of orientation, set your compass course to 55 degrees. Go, boys! Them hard. I feel I have to remind you of the importance of today's operation. Um, in these difficult times for our country, when the enemy tramples our ground, we, God protect you, put it down. And Finish I... up. God protect you.
temperature is minus 20, cockpit temperature is minus 18. Navigator. Copy you. They say you were lovey-dovey with that teacher who got caught in the bombing. Is it a lie or what? Lieutenant. Listening. I asked you a question. Navigator. It's true. They don't have war here. They sleep in peace. So lucky. God was right. It gets thicker and thicker. Is it that one from the Atlantic? Pretty pillows, bastard. Nikolaevich, we can't go around. There's not enough fuel. It's fine. We'll squeeze through the gaps. Got it. I'll look where the light is. Decided to go through the cyclone. Prepare the oxygen masks. Shooters, buckle up. Mask, put it on!
Comrade General, encrypted message from the front. Give it to me. The cyclone has intensified. Now it's right in front of them. Commander, some tea? Tea. Put it down. Navigator, our coordinates? Commander, we're on course. Sweden is on the right. Poland is on the left. We passed Braunholm. What about the rest of us? Still unclear. Maybe make a request via the radio. Delay that. We must maintain radio silence. Three out there. I don't see the rest. Add oxygen. We're gaining altitude. your uncles about the first German you shot down. Commander, let's go to 6,000. They must have noticed us. Crew, get ready for gaining altitude. Right below us is Stetton Bay. Course is 140. Berlin is 130 kilometers away. We'll be there in 25 minutes. Congratulations, crew. We are over Germany. Silence? Mm-hmm. Silence, Comrade Commander. I see. Silence. I guess silence is good. I see four planes! Above us! 20 degrees to the right! These are ours! Six thousand meters. 
The devil himself couldn't have told them apart. Good job, guys. You didn't panic. Navigator, you see the power plant? Five degrees to the right. Affirmative. Commander, course correct. Get ready to drop the bombs. Commander, we're on target. Affirmative. Catch your treats, bastard! We dragged those from Moscow itself. Choke on them! It's your turn! Commander, I have dropped the bombs. All eight are on the way. Commander, heading course 215. Another degree. I'm ready. On combat. Go for it, Petya. What about the power plant? Heading course 210, speed 350. I'm ready. Stop shooting. The most interesting part is beginning. Commander, I see the fighters. A freaking ton of fighters. 
Shooters, prepare for battle. Shooter Ryakov is ready for battle. Shooter Marashov is ready for battle. Send a message. My place is Berlin. The job is done. I'm coming home. Commander, what about radio silence? What if we don't come back? Comrade Commander, sir. Hmm?